Welcome to another edition of I Know My Beer, the Brewers Blindfold Taste Challenge. And today we're in a little bit of an echoey room, but we're up at Buffalo Creek Brewing here in Long Grove, Illinois. We're upstairs in the party room, and joining me is Mr. Mike Marr, the owner brewer. Hello, Mike. How are you? Good. All right. Oh, we'll get the hug. Well, I'm really going to give you a hug. I know. He's giving me a hug because he's trying to figure out if I'll tell him what's underneath it. But, okay, so just to uh, relay what exactly we're doing here, we have two samples. One of them is his beer, the other one is a commercial sample that is cited in the BJCP 2015 style guidelines as a, a, a good commercial example. I've got that under there. The whole idea here is he's going to put a blindfold on and he's going to try and get his beer, first of all from the aroma and the taste, then we take the blindfold off and give him a chance to look at it as well. You want to put the blindfold on? Are you going to keep that hat on? There you go. Thank you very much. It's a lot easier to do without it. He's got to get, he's got to get his branding in there. There we go. Buffalo Creek. All right, very good. Are you there? Are you on? Can you see? It's on upside down, right? That's the bit for the nose. There we go. Well done. You, you can tell I do this a lot. Yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> All right, my friend. Are you ready? So I'm going to reveal the beers now, and I will pass to you one of them, and uh, you can then go ahead. Here we go. Now, for the viewers at home, I put underneath exactly what these styles are, and uh, as you taste them, we'll tell them exactly what you're tasting. You won't know them. So, here we go. This is beer number one. Okay, got your hand? Mm -hmm. Here you go. Very nice snifters as well. You want to step forward just a smidge so that people can see you? There we go, lovely. You won't run into the table, I won't let you do that. All right, carry on now. Talk us through how you're tasting this and your thoughts. Well, let me tell you right now, I think I know what this is because I smell it. And I smell that nice malty caramelness uh, coming through. And uh, it's in a gobble, so it's unfair because we don't serve these in gobbles. But... Oh, well, how about that? It's not unfair. It's the same beer. Come on, taste the bloody thing. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> do two sips. Actually, we had a three sip rule, but we're trying to move this along. <laughs> right? Okay. okay, I'm gonna put that down for you. There we go, well done. I'm gonna pass to you the other one, which I'm just gonna show to the camera there. Got it? Okay. Now, there would be bonus points if you were able to tell me exactly what the beer was that you're tasting. And if you do that, I will bow down to you. Well, I can tell you right now, the first one was my beer, because I don't recognize the smell of this one. And what we have to say as well, whilst he's tasting that, is his is off draft, and the commercial example is out of a bottle. There will be a subtle difference. Very nice. Very similar notes. The, the smell is, uh, is completely different though. So if you compare the two. <clears throat> you want me to guess? Yeah, go ahead and guess. Longer Blogger. Which is what style? A Vienna style lager. Mm. Okay. You want to take off your blind foe? Now right. So select which is your beer. Definitely say which is your beer, right? This one is definitely my beer. Yeah. Okay, he's right on that. This one is a lighter profile than this. Ours, I know, is always a little bit red, but it's usually we serve it in a shaker glass. So. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to push you for your final answer. Longer, longer. Mm. Well, he's 50% right. You know, it's maybe it because, is later out the bodies. Because the style that we actually chose was your Munich Donk. Was it really? Munich Donk, which is called? Bus Wedgie. Bus Wedgie. And there's a story behind that. We might get to it. 
The commercial example, which is this one here, is from, and I'm gonna to have to look at my notes just to make sure I get it right. It's Weltenberg, the Weltenberg, sorry, Weltenberger, don't call it, I'm gonna read it off here. <laughs> it's the Weltenberger Monastery, don't Hello, he's getting a call. Somebody found out that he got it wrong. Is that all right? So this is a monastery that is brewing these beers in, in Germany. It's in central Germany, near the Danube. Um, and they've been doing it since 1050, which is 10 to 11 in you know, normal time. No, they've been doing it since 1050, which is almost as long as I think the hens to farm. Well, oh, these are both your dumplings. These are both very delicious. Like I said, you can definitely, <laughs> you can definitely tell. Just, just. I mean, have you smelled both these? I have not. Okay. This is extra, folks. This is extra, because extra footage here. We're going to get this. Okay. Yeah, I think yours has a lot more roastiness and malt maltiness, I think, is essentially right. it. Yeah, yeah, it's more malty. And I think yours is a donkel that I would recognize as a donkel. I don't know if I'd recognize it as a Vienna Lager. So we'll have to go downstairs and taste that one as well. Yes. So anyway, we're gonna have to give you, uh, the same as we gave our first contestant way back, um, we're gonna give you a B plus because you did pick out your beer, but you got the wrong style. So anyway, folks, he half knows his beer. Thank you, Mike. 50%. Yeah. I'll change this. So the glass is Cheers. Cheers. right? That's right. Cheers. Cheers. So Mike, you were, you were quite in the ballpark, but tell us your thoughts as you were tasting this. So, well, the first one, I, you know, I've drank a lot of this beer and I, I know the profile now. That being said, I drink a lot of all of, it, of the beers we make. Uh, people always ask me what my favorite beer is and it's, I always tell them I love all my children, but I always love the freshest. And uh, this beer, I just, I, I know the smell. It's one, that I, it's one of my go-tos all the time. This one here I knew distinctly was not mine because the malts were um, different than what we use. The, the, just the smell profile itself, um, it's malty, but it's got this uh, like lingering sweet smell that um, our Dunkel does not have. The colors, again, almost identical, um, especially when you, we get them close to, uh, if I look at them through, uh, through the light here in historic downtown Long Grove, here's my plug. The, uh, <clears throat> the colors are almost identical. So, but it's very interesting and I, I do, you know, from a, uh, a brewery that's been around for a thousand years, they make a, uh, a world-class beer and uh, it's fantastic. It is a thousand years, right? About that. Yeah, just about a thousand years. Well, we like your dunkel as well. So, good for you. Thumbs up. Cheers.